Keswick, and I'm Madeline Doctor. Our project is the bacterial battery, which came about from an independent research project I was doing with my biotech teacher. When bacteria metabolize, reproduce, do anything pretty much, they release electrons in the environment. Those electrons have up until now, about or up until now, have not really been harnessed or used for power. And being involved in things like Mall UN and just being interested in humanitarian efforts and helping people, we wanted to take that energy or the, those wasted electrons and turn them into power to help developing economies and developing nations. Right. Um, really for us it's important to have the technology, but even more important maybe is the idea that we can apply our technology to um, emerging economies. So we really have this idea and through, like Megan said, through our work and um, extracurricular activities like Model UN and like all this thing, all this stuff, um, we really found out that the way to, that, to um, have an economy develop is through education and through education um, you can have this energy that we can provide with our technology that um, really helps people out. So we are hoping that um, with our technology we can partner with NGOs, with local organizations and really get this out here to do like have a real impact in the world. So, um, obviously this is really awesome. Can you guys tell me uh, about like the day you guys found out you got the money to be able to like make this come to life? Um, so we, I don't even really remember the day we got the grant. It was such like a shock to us because we really, we thought it was such a shot in the dark that we weren't going to get it, that we were just like this town from New Hampshire, no one, and no one even really think remembers New Hampshire State, so we didn't really think we were going to get the money, when we got it, we were just, we were almost dumbfounded, just like, us? <laughs> it was pretty exciting, yeah. I, I think it was like one of our first days of our senior year, we heard we got the money, and we were just like, it was like, we're seniors now, we're applying to college, and we got a grant, what do we do? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, could you guys tell me a little bit about the technology behind this, how it works? Um, I'll, grab the, I'll grab our fancy demonstration, um, our fancy box. So, this is um, just like a model of our cell, and what we have is we have zinc and copper, common electrodes, just set up in a box, and the idea is similar to that of a potato or a lemon battery, where you have copper and zinc, like a penny and a nickel, or a penny and a nickel, something like that, in a lemon or a potato and those electrons are moving through that medium and we're using soil as that medium for those electrons to travel and not only the soil has or not only are these releasing electrons but the bacteria are so they're moving in a, the same direction giving us more power than a lemon or a potato battery so that's kind of the idea behind it. Over the course of the project we really experimented with a lot of different uh, media and different um, containment kind of uh, ideas so at first what did we do? We did composting um, which we eventually moved into aerated uh, soil. Yeah, um, aer uh, aerated soil allows for aerobic bacteria to thrive, and aerobic bacteria thrive off of, like, they reproduce in oxygenated areas. And aerobic, aerobic bacteria not only produce the most energy, but they're the safest bacteria. And if we were going to put these devices in developing nations with already limited healthcare, we didn't want to expose them to biohazardous materials like fecal coliform and anaerobic bacteria that just, they smell, they're dangerous, and it just wasn't, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the responsible thing to do to release that into the environment. Really throughout this project, we um, not only worked to develop the technology, but we really said, okay, when we have this technology, how are we going to use this in these places, in the emerging economies, how are we going to use it the best that won't impact people negatively? Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, final question. Could you guys describe your EcoFest in one word for me? Or what? Could you describe your EcoFest in one word? Busy. Giant. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.